The final months of 1991 bring new evidence that immigration and higher birth rates mean U.S. population will grow, continuously and indefinitely. Each night, thousands of illegal aliens cross our borders, seemingly without end. Perhaps there will be a hundred million more Americans in our lifetime. What will it mean? In 1991, there is an organization trying to turn that around, seeking to stop a future of unrelenting immigration and U.S. population growth. The Federation for American Immigration Reform is active and at work, working for you, working for change. Testifying before Congress. Our asylum situation is out of control. Bringing the problems of uncontrolled immigration to the public eye. We do not need and we cannot sustain another uncontrolled boat lift situation like what we had in 1980. And addressing an international audience. The Federation for American Immigration Reform is working to make immigration a topic of national discussion. Long considered a source of valuable information by the media, FAIR is the organization leading the national debate on immigration. On CBS Nightwatch, FAIR addresses unrest in Haiti. South Florida cannot withstand another 10, 20, or 100,000 people just uh, coming in as a result of the coup. You need you're, to you're... provide protection for people and, and determine who needs protection, but you can't open the borders. On the McNeil Lehrer News Hour, FAIR draws attention to asylum abuse. If you give asylum to 500,000 people a year, sooner or later they're going to adjust the green card status, petition for their relatives. It becomes a very fast way around the immigration quotas. On CNN, FAIR confronts the world refugee crisis. Are you suggesting that we bring the Croats here and the Yugoslavians into this country? How about the people fighting in the Khyber Pass? Are we going to go around the world and pick up anybody who's being killed or in a, a civil war? What, what, what criteria are you going to have? On CBS Sunday Edition, FAIR advocates limiting immigration. Our current immigration system is being crushed under the weight of immigrants trying to get here at a time when illegal immigration is still totally out of control. On Fox Morning News, FAIR warns the public of the high cost of uncontrolled immigrant influxes. The first two years of the 1980 boat lift cost Floridians a billion dollars in the first two years alone. We cannot sustain an uncontrolled migration boat lift situation. On Los Angeles's weekend gallery, FAIR strongly disputes the need to increase immigration because of a labor shortage. Isn't it too bad that we as a nation can't reach down and train unskilled people in our own country. And in the heat of controversy, such as admitting immigrants infected with HIV, FAIR is out front. This is not a gay issue. This is not a civil rights issue. This is a basic dollars and cents issue. We cannot become the repository for the rest of the world's AIDS victims. This week in Washington, a congressional panel is debating a bill that would institute the most sweeping changes in U.S. immigration laws in 25 years. And one group opposing liberalization of immigration laws is the Federation for American Immigration Reform, or FAIR. Well, you may hear some radio ads this morning. There's a new 15-day radio awareness campaign concerning immigration and the effect that immigrants will have on Houston in the future. They are sponsored by an organization called FAIR, the Federation for American Immigration Reform. Form. The poll was released by a group called FAIR, which stands for Federation for American Immigration Reform. FAIR is for increased border enforcement against illegal immigration. FAIR has been out there for over a decade, pushing to stop illegal immigration and put a cap on legal immigration. Daniel Stein is with the Federation for American Immigration Reform. He will be testifying before Congress later today. The United States cannot continue to be the entire load. Let me mention first, Mr. Stein, I think you're right. I, I really believe that there is a need for an examination of just where we are and where we're going. On the average, FAIR appears in a printed publication at least twice a week and does over a dozen radio and television shows per month. So uh, FAIR is uh, stirring up, the, uh, stirring up the, the pot again a little bit. FAIR is supported by thousands of Americans all across the country who believe that immigration reform and control is among America's most vital issues. 
fair, in the news, in the Congress, with the public, working for you and all Americans for a better future. FAIR's recent report on the world refugee crisis. Well, as you can see from just these few highlights, 1991 was a busy year for FAIR, and 1992 promises to be more challenging still. FAIR is making a difference, and your continued support is critical if we are to be successful. For 10 years, FAIR has been in the forefront, carrying the banner, pushing the politicians to do the right thing and limit immigration. Finally, others are getting the message. Presidential campaigns, influential journalists, and even the man on the street saying enough. You know, some of us who've long known about the need to limit immigration may get some satisfaction in the next couple of years. But no matter what happens, FAIR will be there. But only if you care. Your contribution is your guarantee that immigration reform will be before the American people. Please. Support our efforts. There's not a moment to lose.